Hey everybody, Josh here with Mayhem Made. Just recently I started using Creative Space instead of Laserbox. I've been using Laserbox since I got the laser a couple of years ago. And I'm using the D1 non-pro 10 watt. And switching to Creative Space, I found that you can adjust the crosshairs on your identifying mark on where you're going to start your project. So finding that, I... I know that mine has always been off a little bit, like a few millimeters to the side in the X direction. So this is X, your, your X direction is this way, your Y is this way. So mine has always been off a little bit in the X, so where I put it is not where, it's, where it should be. There's an adjustment in Creative Space, and what I want to check is, is that adjusting it in the module or in the software? So I'm going to go in and in Laserbox, I'm gonna I'm gonna laser it. I'm gonna show how far it is off, and then I'm gonna close that and switch to Creative Space. And do the same thing, and then I'm gonna do an adjustment on it. And then after the adjustment is correct, I'm gonna close that and go back to Laserbox and see if it goes to the correct spot. So that will tell me if it's if it's correcting it in the module or in the board or unless it's compensated in the software. So if it's in the software, it will only work in Creative Space. But if it's in the module, it will work in all the programs connected to the module. So adjusting it in Creative Space, if it links back to Laserbox and goes in the correct spot and fixes the error, that would tell me that you folks that are using Lightburn will also be able to fix it in Creative Space and it will fix it in Lightburn. So let's run this little experiment. Now, I don't use Lightburn personally. I just, I kind of don't like buying programs. So if I can use a program that doesn't cost me any money, I'm going to use that until I can. If anybody has Lightburn and they go through this and it works for them, uh, put it in the comments. Uh, let me know. I'm sure other viewers would like to know. So I appreciate you guys helping me out that do have light burn. If you want to try that, let's, let's jump right into it. Okay, so in Laserbox, I'm going to go ahead and put insert. Just going to do a rectangle. I'm going to go ahead and set my laser. Do this on bass wood, which is, I'm just doing it on wood. So, right at the top corner, that's where the crosshairs should be. And I'll hit start. You can see there, not exactly where it should be. I'm going to measure how far this is off. So I've got a ruler here, metric. It's about one millimeter in the X direction, one and a half in the Y. So I'm going to move this to another spot. I'm going to close laser box. Okay, so here we are in creative space. And I'm going to do the same project. So I'm going to insert a rectangle, make a quick rectangle, and I will size that 12 by 12. Connect my device so it shows I'm connected to the D1. Go to the material. Set it as basswood. And then I'll go here to score. So that should give us a good spot. Let's process. Okay, and on this one, I set the origin to the top left. That should be that top left corner. And I'm going to hit start. You can see it's off by the same amount as in Laserbox. 
So that tells me that the it's in the laser, in the module itself. About one millimeter in each direction. So what I'm going to do, so it needs to go negative, negative. So X negative is usually left and Y negative is down. So let's try this. So going into my settings right here in the, or it says D1, click settings. working parameters. Now red cross offset. So I'm going to go x negative 1 and y negative 1. So I'm going to click here and click back. It still shows it there. Close that. I'm going to click back in and check it and make sure that it saved. It looks like it did. Okay, I'm going to press process again, and again with my origin in the top left corner, should be the top left of that box, and start. Okay, so the Y went in the right direction, the X went in the wrong direction. So that tells me that positive X Positive Y is that way. Positive y, or negative Y is towards you. Negative X is to the right. And then positive X is to the left. So let's go ahead and make that change. Go back into device settings. So I'm going to go X and I'm going to go positive 1. Okay, close that. Origin in the top left corner. Start. That looks pretty good there. It looks like it's right where it's supposed to be now. Okay, so that's... So concluding that, if you're looking at your machine, the front, it says X tool, it's got the button. I consider that the front. In the Y direction, positive Y is away from you. Negative Y is towards you. Positive X is in the left direction. And negative X is in the right hand direction. So now you can see how to correct that in the software. And that should correct forever, I would believe. So to test that, I'm going to go ahead and close. Okay, reopening creative space. Um, you can see my D1 is connected. Going back into my settings. And it kept the settings, so that's good. So set it one time and never have to worry about it again. So now I'm going to go to LaserBox and try it out. Okay, back here in LaserBox, let's do another rectangle. Okay, now look at that. I did not adjust anything in LaserBox. I adjusted it in Creator Space, and it carried over to LaserBox. Now, that would tell me that that adjustment is inside the laser module itself. Because I adjusted it in one software, and it carried to the other software. Okay, so that was a pretty good experiment. I got my, my cross corrected on my project space so that my stuff will end up right where I want it to be instead of sometimes it was a little bit shifted and it messed up some of my stuff here and there with alignment. So knowing that that's true and I can count on it being correct 
from here on out is is great. So what I would like to know is does this work in Lightburn? So if anybody out there uses Lightburn and have creative space, make this correction in creative space just like I just did and remember your directions with your X and Y and let me know in the comments. Does it work in Lightburn? Tell me, please. Um, I would like to know just because I'm, I'm sure a lot of people would like to know because they're fighting alignment problems. As always, thank you for watching. Give me a like if you like the video. Any comments below, anything, suggestions, things you want to see, let me know. Um, anything on how to use the programs, how to service the laser. Um, if you're not subscribed, give me a subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.